Hi, I'm going to do a quick video on desalinization of the clay. Some of the clays out here in the desert have a lot of salt in them. Salt can be an okay thing if there's not too much. It makes for a nice scum coat on some pots. If there's too much salt in the clay, it can cause uh, exploding pots. I had that happen with uh, one of my classes this summer and it was not good. Blew up all my students' pots out of uh, the salt and sea clay, which is very salty. And so anyways, I'm gonna just finish off this batch of clay here. done is put it all in solution and the salts dissolve in the water All right, what you can see is a lot of this clay has settled to the bottom, leaving all the salts in solution. And I am going to pour off all that clear water and dump out some of the salts and then refill the buckets with fresh water and do it again. All right, so here is a piece of raw, well, not raw, but uh, pure clay that I fired. I'd put a little bit of white wood ash in just to see what would happen. But this is what the color looks like. Sometimes you get some purpling uh, from the scum coat out here in the desert, which I really like the colors. And I just, this was a test piece just to see what would happen. Uh, with pure clay got some pop outs because it was just way too pure so once i added sand and some grog to that it it kind of cured it up but a lot of times it stops the the really neat color and just goes more to a peach instead of a purpley you can see that purple on there kind of a fuchsia sometimes this is the purpley buff that i like it's quite purple and that's from the salt. Now, if the salt is just right, you'll get the purple and the pot will survive. Otherwise, you'll start getting pop outs like that, or you'll blow the whole bottom of the pot off. And that's not good. Uh, yeah, it ruins pots, but uh, so there's a happy medium in there. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, dump out some of the salt water and then I'll refill and uh, get it started again with fresh water and let the clay stir the clay let it settle and do it over so I'll just pour off the clear water with some thick clay at the bottom which I will fill this with water and stir it around and let any of those salts that are down low dissolve back up into the upper part and repeat the process uh, about three or four times to get all the salts out I wanted to show you what salt looks like on the clay and uh, it's just kind of a white crystallized and there's lots of little crystals on there and that will keep the moisture from venting out of your clay now you can use some heavy grog thick grog like big particle size and that can help let it migrate out maybe some uh, aloe vera juice or 
cactus juice will help uh, vent some of the salts out, but um, keeping them in solution is the trick or just washing them out. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do here. I just uh, filled the buckets back up with water and uh, gonna stir it up a little bit. So there's the clay swirling around. I'm gonna just let that settle for about a day and then pour the clear water off. Uh, like I showed in my earlier videos, if you want the clay to drop faster, add some vinegar, it will make it drop pretty quick. All right, here is the second rinse. You can see the water is getting a little cleaner and not as brackish looking. Probably do this two or three more times and use it for making pots. And here's the clay after I've poured it off into a uh, was basically there's a plaster trough underneath here and a bed sheet lining in it you can see that one of my other videos and the clay is almost ready to to use now but it should be fairly salt free it should work a lot better in the firing i had to add a mineral called pyrolite to this clay and I think it had reacted with the salt and was just blowing up pots like crazy. I had never had that happen with my salt and sea clay. For the amount of temper I'd put in it, it just would not let the moisture vent out. And I don't know if the pyrolite was partly the cause or if it was just really salty clay. But this stuff feels pretty good. We'll see what happens.